Hi guys, so I'm doing the NFL, uh, the NFC quarterback power ranking, the first one for the NFC. Um, I'll be doing this every week after every game of the weeks. I'm going to be doing a power ranking for the team, the full team too. So, uh, and I'll be doing the preview and the review of the games. So, um, let's start with this list. I'm going to put this right here. Number 16, it's going to be the Washington I could put, you know what, I'm going to put the uh, the quarterbacks. For this power ranking, I'm going to put the power, the, the quarterbacks. So for the Washington um, football team, uh, for now it's Kyle, Kyle Allen. But, uh, like, I can put here Alex. They have Alex Smith. I don't think, I don't know how how, how this team is going to have, what kind of season they're going to have. They don't even have a football team name. Uh, but never know. They might surprise a few. Uh, it's going to be hard with the division. But never know. We'll see how much wins they get. Uh, number 15. Uh, cars and all. So, 15, I'm putting... Yeah, Cal Murray. And this is the Cardinals. Um, so... Number uh, for for him he had twenty touchdown and twelve interception. So let's see if the, he can have a better year. I think they're still a good team. It's just it's they have trouble to finish games. Number fourteen, Giants. We'll see. They might surprise people, but let's put Giants and then I'll put Daniel Jones. There you go. He had 24 touchdowns last year. We'll see if uh, he gets better or the team gets better. But so far, the Giants are 14. 13, Panthers. Panthers. Uh, with losing Cam Newton, it hurts a lot. But they still have uh, Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater. And they might go somewhere. We'll see. They have a hard, hard division with the Saints and Buccaneers. And it's going to be really, really hard. Uh, for 12, it's going to be the Bears. But, I mean, they might go up because uh, they have two, two, two uh, quarterback. I'm going to try to write this right. Trubisky. And Foles. They just got Nick Foles. He was the he was a Super Bowl MVP, but that was three years ago or two years ago? Uh, three years ago. So we'll see how it goes. He might go up in this list in a few weeks. So uh, number eleven. But it's hard with all these good teams. I put Vikings. You guys might be surprised and mad about this, but um, I couldn't put him higher for now. Uh, cousin. Uh... So... Vikings were strong last year. I think they're going to fall out a little bit. But uh, we'll see. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. Number 10. I think these guys are going to get a fall out. 49ers. Garoppolo. Number 
he had a good year last year, but I still think that he's gonna have a down year this year. He can't. I don't think he could do it two years like that. Nine, I put the Rams, but I mean, uh, they'll go up. I think uh, it's just for now, just before the season, and it's uh, go. Good quarterback, not very good in the playoff, but still think he can be one of the best here. So we'll see. It's it's a stack. NFC is stack with quarterbacks. Number eight, I put here Lions and Stafford. I think Stafford is just gonna go up. I think he's just going to go up. I think they'll make the playoffs this year, maybe. But I think he's going to have a lot of big numbers. So uh, he'll go in the stats. Number seven, another that's going to have a good season because he had a bad season last year is Ryan, Matt Ryan. I think that um, he had a bad year, and I think he's going to bounce back this year. Uh, number six, I put another one that's going to bounce back. Come on. Eagles. Um, Wentz. Carlos Wentz. I think he had a bad year. They made the playoff, but barely. Uh, but I think, I think he's going to have a good year this year. Uh, number five. I put here Buccaneers. I'll tell you why. Because I think it's going to take a few games to get them started. He'll go up in the, the list, but I think, or down. It all depends how it's going to be the first few weeks there. Because it's a new team, new system, everything. So we'll see. I'm not going to put them first. Just because he was in the Patriots. Uh, number four, I put Cowboys. Prescott is an awesome. Oops. He's an awesome quarterback. I think he's in the top three in the league right now. I put him four, but it's just because the one on top are really stronger. Uh, number three, I put, and it's not a surprise for the top three. Yeah, I can put the top three uh, in different order. Um, Seattle. Wilson. He, he's he's going to have another good year. Uh, Seattle's a strong team. Um, I think they'll still win the division again. Um, uh, they didn't win the division, I think, this year. I'm not sure. Um, but I think they're going to be a team to beat. So number two, I put Packers. And you can put one, two, three, even four, five. But one, two, three, and switch them. Packers. I, and I put, like, they, they have their future going with Jordan Love. We'll see how that affects Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he's not going to be playing this year, but we we'll never know what could happen, right? So, last year he got injured, Aaron Rodgers, so we'll see how it goes. Number one, no surprise, Saint. And when I do the power ranking, he's going to be in the, the Saint's going to be in the top there. Brees. Yeah, so Drew Brees, I think they're going to be one of the top team. That's why I didn't put Buccaneer there, because they're going to have trouble with the Saints. And the first game is against the Saints, so it's going to be a uh, almost like a Super Bowl game. So uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, you think some, some quarterback should be higher. If not, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. All right? Bye.